All right, we are uh, back out at the uh, area where uh, Town of Cary uh, does their Christmas parade. And um, sorry, it may look familiar to you if you've watched the other uh, videos uh, when we're doing the parade out here, providing the sound for the parade. Uh, this is where the, the van usually sits. And uh, there's usually some big um, display there in the middle. And then right over here is uh, where the uh, MC stands. All right, so this is just a follow-up video on some of the uh, comments and uh, I will say uh, good criticisms of the wireless system when we're doing the show out here. So years ago, when I started uh, providing the sound for the parade, uh, it was uh, set up quite a bit differently than how it is now. What makes this uh, parade gig just a little bit different? Um, it's the smallest event I do each year, meaning uh, for the sound system wise, it's just a couple of speakers, a mic, and a uh, console, and the event only lasts like a couple of hours. And all the MCs that they've had out here in the past, they know exactly what they're doing and how to use the mic. So the stuff that's going on out here in the past uh, regarding the wireless dropouts have nothing to do with them. So a lot of the wireless issues uh, that have been uh, creeping up over the past uh, couple of years, uh, these are actually brand new issues. And uh, it really has to do a lot with uh, the logistical changes that have happened uh, with the parade. All right, one of the leading factors to the issue is, if you notice right where that car is turning, that that is where the MC has to stand now. And if you notice, there is an increase in elevation uh, between where the MC stands and where the van is kept and where the transmitters are, pardon me, the receivers for the wireless mics are. So just this difference in elevation right here and the combination of the people standing around here causes a lot of line of sight issues for over here. And the problems that we're experiencing out here does not happen with uh, when you have a stage. Because when you have a stage, uh, the transmitters are elevated above everybody else. And then that makes a line of sight issues really no issue. Okay, and the mics that we use out here are all 30 milliwatt mics. Uh, very decent. Any shows that we have used wireless mics at have all been on stages, uh, especially for the larger shows. So the wireless receivers are able to stay on the side of the stage or at front of house without any issue. So we've never had a wireless issue at any of these larger shows. So over about the uh, past 10 years or so in doing the show, we actually started out using a tent uh, with a bunch of smaller passive speakers. It did okay. We were set up before, uh, we were actually set up in the middle of the area and the MC was actually at the tent with us when they were talking. Uh, it wasn't until maybe two or three years later they actually started going out into the intersection to do, uh, to do the MCing for the event. And when the MC would move around out in the middle of the intersection, there really wasn't a line of sight issue because they were constantly moving around as well as the crowd was not immediately around the MC, so there wasn't really a line of sight issue with the microphones. So over the next few years of uh, being involved in this event, centerpieces here at the bank started showing up, and this caused us not to be able to put up a tent. Uh, I think which was fine because at that time the MC actually started working the crowd, if you will, d during the parade, so they didn't need to be under the tent. So that's when I started running the PA and everything out of the back of the van. But I was still keeping the area, uh, the whole patio area, taped off from people uh, trying to pass through it. 
This is just to keep people away from the gear, the equipment. I uh, just didn't want anybody walking into anything. So in 2022, uh, the centerpieces on the patio started becoming large. Uh, this is when I decided to open up the front of the patio area uh, for the crowd so they could pass between the streets because what they were doing was walking through the taped in area and this was causing me stress because I just didn't want anything to happen. So when I opened up the front of the area, I had to move the speakers and everything back further away. So as more and more people started uh, collecting on the patio, they began standing on this wall right here, but they also began standing on back behind the uh, that little bush line right there, and there's some uh, benches. And they would start standing on these benches. So with the mic, the uh, with the uh, microphone receivers here, this all these people standing here was causing a line of sight issue down to this uh, area right here at the corner. So the MC was always having to work, stay around this corner down here to work the show, uh, simply just for the safety of everything uh, and the safety of him. Because when they were down here into this corner, they would never leave this area. They would do all their emceeing in the corner. And there were crowds of people on this side here. This whole area was just covered with people. So this was presenting that line of sight issue between the MC and the uh, receivers. So in 2023, that's why I made that uh, little receiver tower to try to get the antennas up higher so that the line of sight issue would be sort of mitigated. Now, when I was standing on the ladder in the, um, in the, the 2023 video of this, I'm actually also looking to see if I can see the MC. And I could never see the MC. This was a serious line of sight issue. Moving the receivers closer to the uh, transmitters or closer to the MC, this did help, but there were still some issues. Not as bad as 2022, but uh, for 2023, this was a big improvement, but there's still room for a lot more improvement. All right, so for 2022, which was the, uh, uh, the biggest noticeable change in the wireless, or actually the bi biggest observation of the issues in the wireless, this is all what changed. There was more RF in the area. Uh, this came from like other uh, police radios and people had drones. I don't think these are on the same frequencies, but uh, you know, I, I just don't know. I scanned for frequencies. I found some good ones before the parade started, but uh, right when the parade started is when I started having issues. So the second thing that happened on 2022 was opening up the front part of the patio area to allow people to move between the streets. Um, as I said, I did this for public safety so people could move around uh, between the streets without issues. Okay, the third thing that happened was the MC had moved out of the center of the street area and moved down to the corner. Uh, they did that for their safety. Of course, this resulted in the um, the MC being surrounded by a lot of people. Then the fourth thing, when opening up the patio, this allowed a lot more people to stand uh, in the patio area as well as on the seating area to see the parade. All right, I hope uh, this sheds some light on the wireless issues that uh, was occurring out here. So uh, I'm looking at uh, 2024, uh, I'm not too sure when you're watching this video. Uh, but in 2024, I plan on making a larger uh, receiver tower and I plan on moving it closer to the uh, MC. We'll see the, how that goes. All right, and for those of you that commented on the power cords uh, that I use for this uh, event, um, I usually use these types of regular cords and I leave the SOOW uh, cables at the shop. Uh, these cords that, that I use are fairly lightweight and they're not being walked on, there's nothing being spilled on them, they're not being driven over or anything like that, and really nobody sees these cords. Uh, as well as when the area is taped off, nobody's really in that area uh, when the event's going on. So uh, I just sort of use these cords because they're just convenient to use. All right, hope this helps. Uh, thanks for watching.